So, uh, yes, energy loss is enabled still. Okie dokie. Um, good to know. Uh, I'm probably still going to use the actual additions lasers just because uh, they are nice. <laughs> is an easy way to put it. They allow you to transfer power really easily over a, a quite a large distance here. Uh, and so I think I might actually make some of these right now. Uh, to make the four lasers, we need four pieces of obsidian, two redstone here crystals, two blocks of redstone, and then one advanced coil, which is just some golden cable, as well as a basic coil, which is just a black quartz, and then some more redstone here crystals. Really easy stuff. Uh, we might need to make maybe eight of them. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is I want to get power from this one water wheel round and over to our farm. Now, if I was thinking logically, I should probably have the kinetic dynamo on the other side, just so it's easy to pull power to our base and whatnot. But you know what? For the time being, it's fine. It is fine. Uh, so we head on over here. Um, energy loss. So how does the energy loss work from actual additions? It says it's a 5% energy loss. Is that just like... Is that for every laser? Is like, does every laser it goes through lose 5% or is it like over the whole network it will lose 5? Like as soon as it touches a laser, it loses 5? Um, how does that, how does that work? Okay, um, <laughs> lasers, we can do this. We can make these super easily. All right, some redstone in the table. Kaboom, we need to sort out our inventory though, flipping egg. All right, let me, let me just take like a quick inventory dump into here and then grab the stuff uh, that I would like to keep a hold of for the time being. Definitely want to keep a hold of my steel. Uh, first cables, uh, I do want to set these up. I should have done this, uh, I think, earlier uh, in the stream because right now, uh, this setup over here, most importantly, the la the um, the setup that makes all of the circuits for us is currently offline. And so what I do want to do is connect that up over uh, to our coal generator. And so I am going to take a quick detour here uh, just to make that happen real quick. I'm fairly certain uh, that these first cables are super easy to make. Red Stodia crystals. Uh, do we have some of those? Like lying around? That's how you spell it. Red Stonia. Am I spelling this wrong? Oh, it's okay. I see. Red. Uh... Oh, Restonia. Wow. <laughs> I've been saying that wrong all this time. Uh, do we have some of these lying about? We do. We've got. One. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we should also, uh, speaking of moving things closer, we should very much so uh, move our uh, atomic reconstructor. Is that what it's called? I always forget the name of this thing, but we should very much move this uh, move this into our pagoda. It is called, yeah, the atomic reconstructor. All right. We'll do 32. Kapow. We got a bunch of power in our atomic reconstructor, which is good. Uh, also, I'm going to take some, like, coal and some wheat out of here just to make sure that wheat doesn't start, yeah, spewing all over the floor again like it's doing right over here pick that up that's just causing extra lag and also we're just losing out on wheat and also we got some extra uh, creosote over there as well if we ever need some more uh, treated wood okay okay let's head over i uh, found this from the uh, the actual editions developer and uh, the energy loss is per transfer no matter how far apart the lasers are or how many are in between machine a to machine b is five percent loss not one laser to one laser right okay that's good to know um i can live with like a five percent loss over an infinite distance. So if it's just 5% from the water wheel to like our farm, I'm fine with that. Or maybe even just 5% from like the water wheel to the um, like a, a capacitor bank or something that stores the energy. Like that's fine. Uh, just so long as it's all like 5% for like every block or something ludicrous like that. Um, all right, what uh, was I making? I was making some more of those first cables. I think we should have some more glass in here. We do indeed. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Get a few more of those. It does kind of annoy me that you only make one of these at a time. I really wish that you could make like six at a time. Uh, that would make it significantly cheaper, but also, in my opinion, significantly uh, better. Uh, this thing doesn't require power, so that's fine. Uh, and then let's just throw in uh, some of this coal dust into here. And that should kind of kickstart uh, this system again uh, into doing its thing. Also, um, one thing that I did want to do, actually, uh, let me quickly go and grab one of our hoppers from downstairs. If I'm not mistaken, I did just put one into here. Here? Where did I just... Oh, also, a bunch of coal dust in there. Uh, where? Oh, it's here. Okay, one second. Um, all right, so yeah, I just basically want to put this down um, over there so we can start this uh, system running again because it does require a constant amount of redstone flux. Is it here? No, it's... Oh, it's over there? Excuse me? All right, this is going to look a little bit janky. Uh, don't worry. Actually, no, it should look... It might look fine. Like, if we do this and then this, we can then cover this up 
with the marble, and then we can fill the floor in with the dark oak wooden. It should look fine from the outside, and it should also, uh, like, also it doesn't look weird on this upper floor either. I like that. All right. Uh, so that should pump um, an infinite amount of cobblestone round and into the extraction chamber. The extraction chamber uh, will then uh, turn it into broken circuits, which will then be fixed, which will then be analyzed, which will then be put down into here, uh, or with the excess stuff being put all around here. We should probably make another crate and um, we'll put it down in this section so we can actually uh, store more of the junk that we're getting, because you'll notice that we are getting a lot more junk. Also, can I, like, put these back in? No? All right. You know what? That's fine. I'm just going to put these back in here. I'm just going to leave the system to work. I'm not... I'm still not entirely certain on how this all works, but I know that this does work, um, and we are getting circuits that are useful here. Um... Also, our thermonic fabricator is now getting power as well, and we're building up, uh, I was going to say we're building up a backlog over here, but that is definitely not at all true, so that's fine. So, now that we have that, let us have a look at these lasers, because we've done, we've done our sidetrack, we've got the circuits back online, uh, we need to get uh, some golden cables, let me just grab like a few of these, stick them into the metal former on extruding mode. There we go, kapow. Let that do its thing. Um, and then, other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. Do we have any obsidian? We do not. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, but we can make it super easy, right? All we got to do is just put lava and water into the smeltery. So we take this, make sure it's in bucket mode, it's on, and then if we just pump this into the smeltery, like so, that's got us 11 buckets of lava. And you know what? Just to make it even, I'm going to go, how many do we have in here? Oh, we don't have... Really? We've only got 350 mil buckets of lava in there? It looks like there's so much more. Oh, it's because... Oh, I see. The rest of the lava is behind in the actual smeltery. I am a fool. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, we're going to get some water real quick. We'll make some lava... Uh, we'll make some obsidian. Uh, really? I don't think we're going to need more than eight at the most. Uh, that will get us eight lasers, um, which I think should be fine for the time being. Uh, so, uh, Isaac Hayton, Particle Flex, Dad, get rid of rain. This is true. I can. Uh, if I do this, the rain should... I mean, has that changed? Was that like a... Is that... Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. Fine. I will toggle downfall again. There we go. For bit Um, I did have Optifine. Also, have I lost sound? Oh, no, I haven't. I just can't hear this water. Um, This doesn't... It doesn't... Oh, there we go. It just doesn't make the bucket sound. It sounds really weird. It sounds ominously quiet. Um... But no, I did have Optifine installed originally. I'll reinstall it at some point, hopefully, uh, between streams so that I can actually, like, just have the rain permanently be off. Uh, that would be ideal. That's usually what I do for, like, YouTube series and whatnot. All right, that should be more than enough uh, in the way of Obsidian. And so now, type in laser. Uh, we should... Oh, no, we need to get uh, apparently more Restonia crystals. Did I use... No. I didn't use all of those, did I? Where did I? Oh, they're in here? Oh, we got two. Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? All right. Uh, so we have 12 of those, and then over here, we've got that 24 golden cable. I don't think we're going to need quite that much golden cable, but uh, we do have to make the advanced coil, which does require this stuff here. We're going to need a lot more uh, redstone crystals now that I think about it. Let me go and quickly uh, zap like this, red, this other 28 uh, redstone here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Isaac is crafting in his... Dot, 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 pagoda. Yeah, yeah. Nick would want me crafting in my room, but I mean, we still need to work on this pagoda. And speaking of which, the, the tree breeding has not been going well, uh, to say the least. I've been trying to get those trees to breed. You know, I've been doing everything I can, put some Netflix on, trying to get them to chill, but they just do not, they have zero chill, those trees. It's crazy. Um, I asked some people on the server, and they just basically recommended that I uh, put down more trees, and so we should go and plant some more uh, silver birches and apple oaks at some point, uh, maybe even put down a few more APOs to try and get those uh, trees to breed at some point. But again, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Before we do that, uh, let me get rid of all of the coal powder, uh, or coal dust in my inventory, so we can free up some space. And also, uh, before we can actually get these lasers to work, we have to get the laser wrench, which requires two of these Anori crystals, NOI crystals, I'm still not quite sure how you pronounce it, but we need two of these crystals and another advanced coil. We should be able to make all of that uh, fairly easy. And when you look at that, we've got just enough golden cable left to make one more advanced coil. Look at that. He is a genius. Kaboom. And we definitely have those. We definitely have those. Where did I put my crystals? Oh, we, <laughs> we really need to get like, oh, you know, I'm going to have to type in Anori crystals, and then you flip and figure out that Isaac can't spell Anori. Uh, there it is. All right. Uh, we need to get an 
well, you know, an applied energistic system would be nice, but more realistically, uh, I would like to start working towards the inventory panel from Endryer as soon as possible, right? This thing looks a little hard to make, but really shouldn't be that bad for us. Once we get an alloy smelter, which hopefully we can do fairly soon, uh, we can make the dark steel fairly easily. We can make the pulsating crystals really easily. It's just a diamond and some pulsating iron nuggets. Pulsating iron is ender pearls and iron. We do need a good source of ender pearls, which we definitely don't have right now. Um, that's something we are going to have to work on uh, because we definitely do need those if we want to get this inventory panel up and running. But uh, once we get that, hopefully our inventory wars will be resolved and hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for us to find all of our stuff but nevertheless let me see about getting our power over to our multi-farm so for those who don't know the way that these lasers work you place one down on for example a kinetic dynamo which should have power in it i know it's not showing power but i think it does have power I think it's just bugged a little bit, or well, I guess we're going to find out nonetheless. Um, and then it has a 16 block range. And so you can put another one of these kind of 15 blocks away. And so I'm going to put one down like right here. I think it might be too far away. I'm trying to get the most like efficiency out of these as I possibly can. Although together, I should probably just like count, right? Uh, let's see here. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and then like 13, 14, 15. I think I can get away with putting it there, if I'm not mistaken. And then you just got to right-click with the wrench, right-click with the wrench, too far away. Um, I, th I, don't know if it, I don't know how it works with like um, elevation, because of course this is not uh, on the same plane as that. So I don't know if it counts like across and down. I don't know exactly how it works, uh, to be fair. I don't know how it calculates uh, the distance perfectly, but that might work. I'll give it a try real quick. Hopefully it does. I don't want to look like a fool who just moved that for no reason. It works. Okay, cool. And then uh, we do want to make sure that we have one of these lasers over and connected to our farm. And also we should really have like another way of getting to the farm that doesn't involve going through the pagoda for the exact same reason that we set up a uh, little pathway to the pagoda in the first place. So we don't have to run backwards and forwards uh, every time that we want to get here. Uh, can I get down here? I can. Okay, it's a little bit... It's a little bit clunky, it's a little bit janky, but it should work out just fine. Uh, and so I believe, if I am not mistaken, we need to connect this up to the gearbox, I think. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, I'm fairly certain that the um, gearbox is where the energy goes. So normally I like to be a little bit more kind of um, organized with my lasers. So normally I'd have like another laser maybe like right here so the laser's going straight lines down and across and they don't go diagonally like this but um in this mod pack at least right now uh, we are a little bit strapped when it comes to oh, can i get away with like this maybe um if we do like that and then that oh it's too far away um we are a little bit strapped in terms of resources right so i would like to try and use as few of these energy relays as we possibly can now if i'm not mistaken these should be able uh, to go through blocks. Oh, I, I know for a fact that they can. So if I do this and this, it does connect through the block. Nice. And so what we should be able to do here, and uh, this is also another thing that makes it uh, makes these lasers preferable to something like the um, the uh, like LV or MV wires from Immersive Engineering, and also something like the um, uh, energy conduits from Ender.io, because these can go through blocks without breaking the blocks. And so we can do like this. And if we head on back up, we should be able to connect it to that laser over there without breaking any blocks oh look at that and now we should have energy transfer over to our farm and it should have a good amount of redstone flux and so now it's just missing a couple of things one of those things is fertilizer so let's head on back through over to our pagoda and grab some of that appetite get a bit of sand i don't think we have any sand um but what we can do is we can grab some cobblestone from over here which is our cobblestone generator. Uh, and we can stick our cobblestone into the macerator to produce sand. Uh, we just do want to make sure that we take out the output upgrade uh, or the ejector upgrade so that we don't then smelt the sand into glass. And also uh, that we move our overclockers into here uh, so that can go as fast as we can do it right now. And also let me get rid of these lasers, I guess. For the time being, uh, eventually we'll have the power come down uh, into our base over here. And really, uh, it would also make sense to have the power kind of connect up to this system over here. Um, so that we're not still relying on the coal dust uh, to power all this stuff. Uh, is this working out a-okay? I think it is. Yeah, it's doing fine. 
Uh, oh, did I? Did I not set this up correctly? I didn't. Okay. Okay, I need to... Um, when I've moved them... Uh, so with the blocks from the calculator mod, you have to uh, set a specific size to output, even with a hopper. The hopper doesn't just uh, pull it out of the bottom like you'd expect. Um, and so instead, I have to get... Uh, what is it called? I think it is... I think it's called the wrench. But it's from the calculator mod. I think it's this guy here, the PA wrench, uh, which is upstairs. All right. This is this is not our original PA wrench. This is like an extra one that we've got. And I, uh, it might be. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if I do this, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The system was not working, but I should now output those damaged circuits as well as the small stone. Uh, the small stone will eventually back this up, but uh, it should take a little bit of time for that to happen. Um, let's go put that in there. And then we do need to do, I think, the same thing with this one that's very 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 slow my goodness uh, we do need to do the same thing here i believe and actually set that bottom side to output again unfortunately it's kind of hard to uh, it's gonna be a bit of a uh, um <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a pain to connect to this but give me a second here if we do like this and then we give this a good old right click like so and we can, can we put on the hopper here yeah we can all right that should now be back up and fully functional. Okay, okay. So now that's done. That's another little quick detour over and done with. Now, here we go. Boom and kaboom. That's going to get us a bunch of fertilizer. We'll take a stack for now and that should be fine. And then we can go quickly through here around and over to our farm. And then if we put this in there, we should now tell us what we're missing. So we got fertilizer and now we need water. So what I am going to do, you put water into the valve, I believe. So we put it in right about here. Um, so we're going to have to get a quick few buckets of water to get ourselves an unlimited water source. And then once we've got that, we should really look into getting a fluid transfer node with a mining upgrade uh, so that we can automatically... We have space. We are. Okay, let me get rid of like cobblestone like that. Uh, we should really look into getting um, a mining upgrade in a fluid transfer node so we can automatically pull out that unlimited water source and pump it into the farm automatically. But if we do this for now and just kind of put it in manually i can kind of show you guys uh, how this works so can i do this yeah it's um it's a little slow <laughs> not gonna lie it's a bit of a slow tedious way of doing it is that really not gonna oh there we go really is that the server lag the server is a little bit laggy. also again apologize uh, apologies for for the coughing uh, hopefully it's not too too bad on the stream there but that should be fine uh, so now the farm is actually fully ready to work right uh, it can do if we put dirt in there and if we put saplings in there the tree farm will the the the, the, the multi-farm i should say will put down the dirt and it will put down the trees and it will just start a farm but if you want to specify what grows in the farm for example if you don't want to grow just trees and instead you want to grow for example wheat you need to make yourselves a circuit uh, one of these circuits for forestry. Depending on which circuit you make, you can see in the little tooltip there, uh, the basic circuit fits one electron tube. Uh, the, the enhanced circuit fits two. The refined circuit fits three. And then the intricate circuit fits four. Um, essentially, what those uh, equate to are the four sections of the farm. So you can see right now, uh, it's all set to saplings. If you want to change, for example, just one of these to saplings, uh, sorry, just one of these to like seeds and leave the rest to saplings, you can get away with a basic circuit board. However, if you want to set all four of these to seeds, uh, you would have to make the intricate circuit board and then put in four of the electron tubes of your choice. So uh, it's a bit of a weird system. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. Um, also, as far as I can tell, uh, I don't think that there is a like massive increase in price between all of these, right? Like the basic circuit requires four redstone ingots, two diamonds, and three circuits. And then the intricate circuit, the highest tier of circuit, if anything, might be cheaper. It doesn't require diamonds to make. It just requires different circuits. Um, and so I think the basic circuit is more expensive because it's used for recipes. It's used for a lot of stuff, like the, uh, the draw controller, which I still do want to make at some point. Uh, but thankfully... The enhanced circuit, which is the one we are going to make, um, or hopefully going to make if we have uh, the correct circuits for it, is not all that expensive. So, um, again, I still do not like this system because it's still um, 
horrible. All these circuits are named the exact same. You're supposed to guess which circuit is which. But uh, I think that that is correct. Uh, do we have our scientific calculator on us? We do not, uh, but we should be able to find it fairly easily. And so in the thermionic fabricator, uh, I will leave that redstone there because we are going to need it. And then what's the order of this? It's like squiggly square and then like weird square. Okay, boom, boom. And boom, those are my names for that now, all right? You're going to have to live with it. Uh, and so we just need four redstone ingots and then two bronze. So it's not actually that at all. Uh, I think we should already have some bronze in our um, storage doors. We do indeed. Okay, one, two is all we need. And then as far as uh, those redstone ingots go, I need my scientific calculator, which we should have lying around. We do indeed. Okie dokie. Does it have power in it? It does. Good stuff. And then what do we need to make those redstone ingots? We need to get uh, some redstone and some iron. Super easy stuff. All right. So uh, one, two, three, four. Also, let me, again, do a bit of an inventory dump into here. I'm not a fan of the fact that all of these chests are filling up uh, quite so quickly. Uh, but we'll do one, two, three, four into the scientific calculator. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Those are done. And we should now be able to make ourselves the tier two circuit. I think, actually, fairly easily. And we've already got some liquid glass in there, so that is fine. Let's do that. Get rid of you. Bronze, bronze, boom. And that should make us what we're after. But it's not. <laughs> Have I used the wrong circuit here? Uh, doo -doo -doo. I might have, but I don't think... No recipe. My blind... Bronze, bronze, redstone, redstone. You know, <sighs> I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool. It's a carpenter recipe, you, you turkey. Oh, my goodness. That is um, the perfect time for uh, an Isaac Derb, if ever I've seen one. Gosh, dang it. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. You know what, chat? Just let's pretend that didn't happen, okay? Let's pretend that that did not happen. There we go. All right. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Uh, I do need to get some water real quick, though. And also, I'm going to toggle down fall again. And also, we need to eat uh, some baguettes. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, so, if we were to put in the water buckets like this, I'm just going to put an extra one in just for good measure. So, next time uh, it's ready to go, that should very quickly get us the enhanced circuit board. And then, finally, the last thing we need is this soldering iron, a.k.a. a soldering iron, depending on how you want to say it. Some people say soldering, uh, a.k.a. I will say soldering. Uh, usually the U.S. says soldering. Uh, if you want to say soldering, that's fine. Uh, I will, however, point out that there is an L in there. Uh, just saying. <laughs> there we go. It's done. Okay, cool. Um, and then what do we need? We need the... Yeah, it's in the same machine. Okay, there we go. That should work out just fine. Now that we've got the soldering iron, basically what you can do uh, is you can put the circuit in here, like I said before, uh, depending on... And we want to set this to automatic farm. Uh, depending on which circuit you have, depends on how many uh, electron tubes you can put in. We've got the enhanced version. Oh my goodness, Blizzard app requires update. Get out of my face here. I know I just talked about Hearthstone, but I don't want to update the Blizzard launcher whilst I'm streaming. Gosh dang it. Uh, but no, the, uh, the version we have can hold two electron tubes. And if you, if you look at the wiki, uh, different electron tubes have different like are associated to different crops. And so we want to get a wheat farm going as well as a tree farm. And so we are going to use bronze electron tubes. Uh, but if you wanted to grow different things, you need different circuits I'm, or different electron tubes. I'm not an expert on what the electron tubes, uh, on which electron tubes you need. Uh, but I do know uh, that we need bronze electron tubes to get our stuff working. What do we need here? We need more redstone ingots, some thickened glass, which I think we do already have. Uh, this shouldn't be too, too bad, actually. We only need two uh, electron tubes. However, we are out of bronze so one two three four, one two three and one that should get us four more bronze which is not a lot but should be fine for the time being uh, let's turn that off i'm gonna turn that one on so we can get our bronze ingots we have more oh look at that we've already got the bronze ready and raring to go let's head on back up here um, we don't have any redstone ingots just yet, but we can craft more of those uh, in a second. This one is definitely in the thermionic fabricator and also we're now entirely out of liquid glass Excuse me? How did how did that happen? It just disappears? How odd. All right, well, in that case, then we might have to make some more. Uh, oh, no, we're going to need even more bronze, aren't we? Okay, that's fine. Uh, but let's do this like that. Uh, we need thickened glass here and here. And then we need two redstone crystals. Okay, that is fine. We also need, like, quartz glass or something, I think, over here. 
Clear glass, which requires enhanced soil, which is sand and nether quartz. Okay, yeah. All right. That should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, put a lever on it. Should I put a lever on my um, ba -ba -ba, thermonic fabricator? Is that what I need to do? Um, oh, it goes away when you let it cool down. I see. So because I took the power away from it, or because it didn't have enough power, I guess, um, it closed down. That is a little annoying. I'm not going to lie. That's a little annoying. Sounds like you have a cold still. Yeah, it's, I mean, I feel fine. And it's basically just the cough now. You've got like this remnants of a cough, which will probably be here for like maybe another week. I'm hoping it goes away as soon as possible. Uh, but alas, it is not um, in my control uh, for the most part, you know, for as much as it can be. Um, all right. Uh, we should still have some sand down here from before we were macerating it up. We do. And then do we have any spare nether quartz? We do. How much? More than one? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kaboom. Kaboom. Uh, again, not quite sure how much this is going to need. I'll take like 10 for now, and I think that should be fine. Uh, and then we'll throw that in like so. Let's go smell that up. Uh, so I'll put the glass in there, and that should begin, hopefully, to make us some bronze electron tubes. However, we need more bronze, because we've only got five. Uh, we've only got four, and we need five per electron tube. So hopefully, we have six more in here. We do. We've got seven. Good stuff. Good stuff. And so if we whack that into our thermionic fabricator, we should be good to go. Uh, also, uh, at the recommendation of Mr. Ninja in the Twitch chat, I'm going to very quickly uh, whip up another lever here and put it on our thermionic fabricator, just in case we need to turn it off uh, in a second. Uh, oh, I forgot you make four at a time, Isaac, you fool. Uh, so we'll do that. That's going to turn it off. Oh, oh, I'm not quite. It's on or off? I don't know. But either way, uh, it's going to do something to it. And now that we've got our bronze electron tubes what we can do is we can grab our soldering iron we can right click we can put in our enhanced circuit board we can put in our two bronze electron tubes I only, ooh, yeah there we go i only needed two um and so there we go we should now i think if i'm not mistaken did i set that up right i uh... no i didn't set it up right now it's set up right you have to set it to automatic farm and then uh, to crop farm and so now we can actually plant and grow crops using our farm cool so let me put this in like so let's go turn half of those uh, into potential wheat farms and so now finally we should be able to get this show on the road so i know for a fact i've got a bunch of dirt in this chest it's all the dirt that we got uh, oh i was going to be annoyed if those were bronze electron tubes uh, it's all the dirt that we got from the um from like digging out this area over here. We should also grab some of the wheat that we have in here. Uh, also, we got a bunch of wheat seeds in there. So never mind. Let me just grab like all of those for the time being. Because we do, of course, need those uh, to get this wheat farm kickstarted. And so let us head on down like this into here. If we put in the dirt and we put in the seeds, it should begin to place down the dirt. You can hear it already. Look at that. Look at that. It is automatically putting all the dirt down. Um, I believe this is where the seeds are going to go. Obviously, it's tilled dirt. Uh, and this is where all of the uh, the saplings are going to go. This is hummus. Uh, and so if we head on inside real quick, let's see about getting uh, some of the saplings so we can get uh, the tree section of the farm up and running as well. Do we have any uh, dark oak saplings? Uh, do we have any normal oak saplings? We got two. Um, Like, I don't know if I want to grow dark oak saplings just because like they're a two by two structure but you know what yeah we'll go with dark oak for now uh, just because we've got it in abundance we've got so much of it and because we've been using it to build all of our stuff as well so it's kind of uh, in keeping with everything else so we'll throw that in like so that should begin to throw down all of the saplings oh look at that look at that we are missing a little bit of dirt we could do with some more to kind of fill this whole thing up but finally we've got like a fully functioning auto farm uh, can you grow canola in the farm? That is a good question. One that I will um, check out in just a second here. Uh, we've got canola seeds in here. Let me give this a try. We might be able to. Uh, they are very similar to wheat seeds, so I wouldn't see why not. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain. Like, if I do this and this, does it work? Oh, it does. I think. It's taken one of them, at least, which leads me to believe... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It does indeed plant canola. I mean, I don't know if it's out of 
Oh, it's out of water. Of course. I was going to say, I don't know if it's out of power or not, but... Let me just do like this. And then can I do this? Oh, I totally can. I love it. Oh, okay. Fantastic. All right. Uh, yeah, it needs the water to keep the canola seeds going, but that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. We'll put the dirt in as well to make sure that thing, like, keeps its cool. Okay. That is really good. And actually, you know what? I'll take the wheat seeds out. We'll get rid of wheat entirely because, you know, we've got, we've got a little bit of a wheat farm, like, hold on. There we go. Um, <laughs> we've got already, like, a little wheat farm going on over here. Uh, I know it's not supposed to be a wheat farm, but we do already have uh, this, like, little greenhouse set to wheat. I would like to set that back to making coal dust as soon as possible, uh, but I don't think we need that. Oh, no, we do, of course, actually. Now that I think about it, um, we need to get the whole reason why I was doing this, or, or a good reason as to why I was doing this, is that we need to get a lot of seed oil. Can I use, although I'm pretty sure you can use canola seeds, right? In the squeezer. That gets you 10 miller buckets. And then wheat seeds also get you 10 miller buckets. Yes, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to grow canola and dark coke because the canola has a bonus effect of getting a seed oil, but also uh, getting us a good um, resource that we can then use to make power as well. So that is kind of the best of both worlds there. Uh, I'm going to grab. A few more canola seeds from over here, whack those into the farm. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that we need to do really is have um, a place for all of the stuff that's in here uh, to come out. And I'm not entirely sure, actually, if the farm requires a constant source of power. Like, I think, uh, sorry, what I meant to say was that I'm not entirely certain if the, um, the farm requires a constant source of water because of the fact that I think it might only need water at the start, like when it's doing this and putting down the water source blocks. After that, I don't know if it does kind of constantly use water to hydrate the crops. I don't think it does. And so we might not need to set up an unlimited water source at all. Uh, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, you can see the tree grew. It got chopped down and the stuff is here uh, in the output slot. Uh, and so now all we have to do is actually pull out of the farm hatch into, for example, like a chest or a crate. And we have pretty much a fully automated farm. Uh, so let me see here. What do we need? Uh, first of all, actually, do we have a normal transfer node? We do. Would we'll you look at that uh, right there? So we'll take you. We'll take you. And you know what? We might as well just take like a normal uh, chest for now. Really, because I don't want to have to use the resources uh, making a crit, despite the fact that they are significantly better with significantly more storage space. But if we do this and this, and then just whack this down over here with our transfer node, uh, we should have a nice farm. So boom, boom, and boom. And eventually, it's going to pull this stuff out. Look at that. There we go. We now have an automatic canola farm um, as well as an automatic tree farm, uh, getting us a nice amount of power as well as some canola, which can lead us to power um, as well as seed oil. And that seed oil is very important because it is used to make the Ender.io machine chassis, which we need to get into the next stage. And so this is what I would like to start working on like right now. So uh, all of these seeds, let's just get rid of this and this. That should get planted down with canola, uh, but we've got more than enough canola. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it into the squeezer so we can start squeezing all of this, uh, all of these canola seeds into seed oil, uh, trying to get that thousand miller buckets. It does mean we're going to need a hundred canola seeds uh, for every uh, bucket of seed oil. Also, where is our squeezer? It's hiding over there next to our um, oil generator. Um, so let me whack this down like here, I guess, for now. And let's also throw down that first cable again. Uh, let's probably go start draining the power very very quickly because uh, these things do use a fair bit of power but uh, we could put our uh, canola seeds into there and that is going to very quickly i guess get us some seed oil we do need a thousand miller buckets but that's fine uh, so now that we've got that what do we need to make our carpenter first things first iron bars super duper easy uh, we just need one two three four five six iron once we've got that we can put our iron bars in, and that's that part just over and done with. We might already have some iron bars uh, in one of our chests somewhere, but for now, it's fine. Uh, is it in the carpenter? It is. All right. Get rid of all this, and then one, two, three, four, five, and 
Six, like so. So that's the easy bit out of the way, like the really easy bit out of the way. Uh, the next easiest bit, I think, is going to be uh, this basic capacitor. It requires two copper electron tubes, uh, which is going to mean that we have to get rid of this. I really wish it hadn't used up the glass on, on making another set of four bronze, uh, but that's fine. Copper uh, is significantly easy to come by, so we'll get rid of these bronze electron tubes. Oh my goodness, the inventory management is actually horrible. I hate these inventories. Look at this. It's just chests upon chests of random mess. It's horrible. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, let's have a look in here. We should have some more clear glass. We do. Uh, I'm just going to take like three. Uh, I don't think we need that much whatsoever to make one set of electron tubes. I think you might even just need one piece of glass. Like if I do this and then this... Uh, and then also, actually, I guess uh, we need some more, some more iron, so we need to get some more redstone ingots. Uh, one, two, kaboom, boom, boom, boom. Is that going to be enough? Do we just need the one piece of um, of clear glass? No. We are out of power, like entirely out of power. Let me disconnect this again so we can try and get some power into here. Oh, disable my redstone, I see. Let's turn that on. Missing liquid resources. Uh, when it gets hot, it should start to melt that down, and it should all be uh, be good to go from there. Uh, also, yes, we do need to eat food, and also we should probably start using uh, some of that wheat that we got earlier to make some more baguettes, uh, because we are running a little bit low. Uh, so let's quickly craft up uh, some balls of dough, and then whack those into our electronic furnace for the next. Look at that, that's two stacks of baguettes right there. I love it. I love it. And we've already got 24 ready and raring to go. Uh, is this done? Yeah, it's done. So we just need one piece of glass. That is good to know. I'm going to leave that there so we can just put it in uh, easily next time. But that is super easy. Um, so now that's done, uh, where do we make the basic capacitor? It's just a crafting recipe. Uh, so we can do... We can leave these in here for now. I'll probably have to move them uh, in a second. But that's that bit taken care of. Uh, enriched gold. We might already have some enriched gold lying about. We do. Do we have two? We do not. That's a little annoying, uh, but I believe it's just made in the calculator again. Uh, enriched gold is just smelted, um, a smelted version, I believe, of this enriched gold. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's gold and redstone in the normal calculator. Where is my normal... Come on, Isaac. Calculator. It is over here. Okay, dokie. We should really keep these on us at all times and, like, in a chest that I can easily access. Uh, but let's grab these and then go... Boom. 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 Didn't really need that much, but that's fine. And then we'll just quickly smelt that up. Uh, it's a little bit more important than our dough. Whack that. Is that not correct? No, yeah, it is. It is. Just a little slug because it doesn't have the overclockers. Kapow. And that should be done real quickly. And then once we've got all of those, I'm going to put one back just because I don't want to clog up my inventory any more than I have to or any more than I have already. Uh, so that's that. And that done, all we need now are the empowered redstonia crystals. And for those, what are we making? We're making the chassis. Uh, for those, we need to get ourselves um, really preferably a block of redstonia. And then to empower that, we need rose red, ardite, garnet, and resonating redstone crystals. All of which I think we have. We've got the resonating redstone crystal. Easy peasy. Um, we should have somewhere a bunch of red garnet we do uh, we should also have some rose red somewhere and then finally we should also i think have some ardite as well let's have a look t uh is it down here oh it's right there you fool uh we got that and then no rose red oh we do of course we got the poppies easy 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 all right kaboom kaboom and that should be everything. I'm no, I have no idea how much power this is going to use. Um, it doesn't specify uh, in the tooltip how much redstone flux is required. Uh, but if we come on over to here and we do something like this, like this, like this, and finally like this with, of course, a block of these redstone crystals like that. Kaboom. Kapow. And that should fairly quickly get us what we're after. Hopefully it doesn't use too much redstone flux. Um... I guess whilst we're waiting, what we should do uh, is quickly go and harvest the canola uh, that we have down here. It does. Is that it does require a lot of redstone flux? Oh, no. My, my nightmare is true. Um, let's have a look. We should have enough. 
nevertheless, uh, I'm just thinking about the fact that we also need an extra two million in order to get the. Um, actually, probably says in. Um, let's have a look. Empowered. Does it say here? Four million. We don't have enough. We do not have enough. Oh my goodness. Um, in that case, let us drop all of that canola in there. I'm going to be fairly surprised if we have any canola over here yet. Uh, I'm going to assume that we don't. Uh, no, we don't. Do we have more canola in any of our chests? We do. Um, 51 and 32. We got a bunch of canola. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm just thinking we need to keep that um, generator going. We need to keep the oil generator going for as long as possible here. Uh, because otherwise, we are not going to have uh, enough power at all. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, it might take a little while here, guys. It might take a little while. I guess whilst we're waiting for that, uh, we can go and work on getting um, the other final piece of the... Or final two pieces, I guess, of the puzzle here. What do we need? So we need a basic, we need a steady casing. Uh, so we need a lot of bronze, right? We need a lot of bronze. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put nine copper in and three tin. Uh, that should get us a good amount of bronze. And by a good amount, I mean 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, of course. Uh, we need eight for this, four for this. So 12, uh, I think 13, 14 is all we need. So this should be more than enough bronze uh, to get us the sturdy casing. Other than that, we just need the 2 million redstone flux. And then finally, we, of course, need the iron casing. Um, and I think that that actually shouldn't be too hard for us to do because in the past, uh, we did make uh, some of these um, carbon plates. So those are all ready to go. And also, let me do like a bit of an inventory dump here. And also, do we have... Yeah, we do. Let me quickly uh, like get rid of that nether quartz that I just put, put it back in there, like so. And also, we don't need to be carrying around all these seeds, all these sunflowers either. Flip it neck. Uh, that's already done for us. The basic machine casing is super easy. It's just one, two... Oh, we don't have enough iron in there. Uh, hopefully, we've got enough over here. We do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Throw those in like so. Make sure it's set to rolling. Uh, that's our machine casing taken care of. Uh, like I said, we've already got the carbon plates. So now all we need are two, a four steel plates and two advanced alloys. The advanced alloys require uh, three more iron plates. So basically here, uh, we need three iron plates, three bronze and three tin. Uh, but nevertheless, let us do this. Now that's done, we have uh, almost that bit taken care of. We need four iron ingots to wrap this up. One, two, three and four. Kaboom and kaboom. That is that done. So we've got this. We've got this. We've got... Uh, oh, no, that's not correct at all, Isaac. That is not at all correct. I can put this up here in the carpenter because that is now ready to go. So we'll whack you in like that. That's that bit done. Uh, we're almost done with the basic capacitor. Is this done? No, it is not done. Um, not surprised uh, at all. Uh, we can put in more canola here to keep this thing going. Um, I really wish it would give you like um, a percentage complete bar in Whaler there, or whatever the mod is. I don't think it's Whaler. Uh, but I really wish it would tell you how much power had been used and how much power it needed to keep doing it. Um, but it looks like this is done. This is done. This is done. It's just this one, I guess. Which, for whatever reason, is going fairly slowly. I guess it's just waiting for this, right? This one didn't have enough power in it. And so it's just waiting for the power to come from the oil generator, which is just a little slow at 100 redstone flux per tick. It's a shame, really. Um, all right. Well, 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 again, whilst we wait for that, we can head on back and get all of the items required to make the sturdy casing. Um, I don't necessarily think we're going to get it done this stream, unfortunately, uh, but we should definitely uh, be able to set this up at the end, or uh, the very beginning of the next stream. Let me turn that off real quick, because I need to put uh, eight more back in here to get the, um, whatchamacallit, the large plate cast, so like that, and like that. Turn it back on. That's going to be that done. Uh, what else do we need for the sturdy casing? We need the bronze gear, uh, which is one, two, three, four in the way of copper. We've still got some steel on us. And if I'm not mistaken, if memory serves me right, it's something like this. Really? Is it four steel, one copper? It is. Oh, it's more expensive than I thought. But nevertheless, that's fine. Uh, we can make ourselves the bronze gear. We can then put uh, two bronze into our metal farmer, like so, with our overclockers. I do want to make more overclockers uh, as well at some point, and also make more turbines and get more power in Industrial Craft 2 in, in, like in general. Uh, but for now, that's fine. 
put you back in. That should get us the two um, item casing that we need. And so that's it. That's pretty much everything uh, for the um, uh, sturdy casing. All we need now, all we're missing, is this large bronze um, plate here, which will be done any second now once all that's pulled out. Uh, so all we need is power. That's all we're missing. You know, it's, it's what we've been working on all this time, and it's all that we're missing now is, is power. Is this uh, almost done? It's cooling down. It's cooling down, and it is done. All right, so we've got all of the items required now to make the machine chassis. We just don't have the power required to make the machine chassis. The water wheel, this is true. We do have a water wheel uh, ready to go, and we could, I guess, uh, did I put my lasers away? I think I did. Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a pain, really, because we don't have... Um, like enough lasers we got a bit of a weird setup here let me look here where are my lasers at t uh they're in this chest all right uh, let's get rid of like the canola seeds for now and let's grab all of these i think we will have enough lasers uh to bring the power from our water wheel around to the front um and also i'll probably set up the other two water wheels by the way uh between uh, streams just because it's a bit tedious to watch uh, but essentially what i will do at some point is set up uh, two more water wheels that are identical to the one that we built in today's stream so to this one over here uh, which will produce 88 redstone flux per tick and so in total uh, we'll be producing about 240 redstone flux per tick uh, but let me see here if we put one down like here maybe can i connect this one yeah i should definitely be able to connect that to this yeah nice and then from here we need to go like one two three four five six seven ah 15 maybe 16 that looks a bit too far away maybe yeah just a little bit too far away maybe there would work i should really be as precise as possible with these uh, but we'll do that and then finally we need the last bit of power to go to like here so boom and boom there we go let's go put a little bit of extra power uh, into the display stand maybe make that just a little bit quicker uh, albeit not incredibly slow uh, incredibly so it's still gonna take uh, a little bit of time for this to happen also it doesn't help uh, that i think the power is still being distributed amongst all of honestly oh, still getting drained out of here which is odd um i don't know but oh it's just gonna take a while is is all i could say now it's just gonna take a little bit of time for this to finish once it's done and uh, we can put on all of the stuff um like all the bronze stuff here to make the steady casing and then once we have all of that we can put everything into the carpenters oh my goodness this is gonna take so long I, I, I don't know. I have no idea how much power this had. And so I don't know how much power it's needing to get. Um, it might be like, you know, 200,000 that it needs to get. In which case, it's going to take quite a while. Like, it's going to take quite a while to, to finish up here. Uh, these ones are still all doing really well. I really wish it could pull. Uh, like, I really wish it didn't have to be evenly spread. Like, I wish it could pull the extra power from this one, which is, you can, as you can see, is like full. Um, which is good, though, because we do also need uh, half a million redstone flux in each one of these uh, before we can make the sturdy casing. Uh, but there we go. Yeah.